Are you serious? Are you serious? We're living in the last days. Have you ever heard of the phenomenon known as thunderstorm asthma? Now, this is a phenomenon that can happen naturally, but we've never seen anything like this that happened in Melbourne, Australia, unprecedented. Two people died last night. Thousands had to go to emergency rooms, crowding in, seeking help from unbelievable symptoms. Uh, I believe the chemtrails that are already hanging up in our atmosphere uh, can only enhance this phenomenon and make things worse. This is an unprecedented event. Should be all over the media everywhere. It should be covered everywhere. But uh, it's being swept under the rug as we are so used to happening. That's why you're watching this program. That's why you're here. That's why you're watching my channel and others in alternative media. Let me tell you what happened. A major storm that hit Melbourne, Australia last night appears to have caused a mass outbreak of an illness known as thunderstorm asthma. This age reports that an unprecedented number of people fell sick, acutely ill, two dead, thousands very ill in emergency rooms and hospitals. Um, other emergency services helped respond to the unprecedented demand and hospitals were also overwhelmed as people came into the emergency room with respiratory problems. Thunderstorm asthma can occur when wind and moisture cause the pollen in the air to rupture into small particles. That can be inhaled rather than being filtered through the nose, all right, causing an asthma attack. But not like this. This was on a, 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 an apocalyptic, a catastrophic, of a biblical proportions. Nothing like this has ever been seen before. Certainly, the synthetic uh, materials and particles that are floating in the chemtrails that are being sprayed across the skies around the world has to be playing some kind of role in a natural phenomenon like thunderstorm asthma. I'm sorry, I'm not a meteorologist. I'm not a seismologist. I'm not a cardiologist. I'm not even an ophthalmologist. I'm not, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? But I do know this much, that you can't keep spraying chemicals in the air. Listen, guys, you remember when it snowed a couple years ago and I took a blowtorch and tried to melt the snow that a lot of people tried it. The snow wouldn't melt. I got it on video. It wouldn't melt. Instead, it turned black and the room was filled with the smell of burnt plastic. You can ask Heidi. She knows. Listen, folks, Fox News took that video and put it on their uh, channel saying, what in the world's going on here? Well, it's the same principle here. The chemicals are in the sky. Another natural phenomenon has brought forth a more increased deadly result. So we'll continue to keep an eye on it. There'll be some who'll question this report, I'm sure, saying I don't have the credibility to even bring it to the table. But here's the thing. Nobody's bringing anything to the table. Check your mass media. There's no reports anywhere on your major networks across America that this thunderstorm asthma took place in Australia. Why? Because it's so unbelievably, overwhelmingly, uh, the effects upon the human race, that people would start to question what's really going on. I'll be back with more current world events. Remember, I'm the guy that brought you the Hosea prophecy, dead birds, dead fish, dead cows, that's in the Bible. I'm telling you, chemtrails are in the sky. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We're in the last days. Are you serious?